Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're going to be doing a review on this RV cover by Bouge RV. They sent this to me to review. This is going to fit on my 28 foot Class C Jamboree. Um, so this is a motorhome. They do have other options available for other sizes and types, I believe. Um, if you do end up being interested in this, I will put a link down in the description below where you can go check this out on Amazon. Now, when I first received this, I, I've never had an RV cover before on my RV, and really I wish I had. Um, even though when we were on the road all the time, you know, you're living in the RV, you really notice leaks and problems fast. When it's being stored, like ours has for the last seven or eight months, we got tons of rain. And even though I went out and checked on it all the time and made sure the roof was okay, um, eventually the rain did cause a, a leak on the side and it just puddled on my kitchen countertop and it swole up the particle board and it just messed a lot of things up. And this was just over three or four days of not checking it. So having an RV cover uh, helps with rain, helps with snow, helps with dust and dirt, UV protection, obviously. And the great thing about this cover is that it does go down to my tires. It goes almost all the way down to the ground. So this does offer UV protection for the tires as well as the RV and the roof and all that other good stuff. Now this is a water resistant cover. And I was like, well, I mean, you want waterproof, right? Now the difference between waterproof and water resistant is that waterproof, let's just say you covered your RV in a big tarp and it's completely waterproof, no water gets through it. That water goes down to the ground, puddles on the ground and inevitably evaporates up underneath the tarp and it will get things wet under there and it'll stay wet. And so it gets real humid and wet all over your RV and that's gonna promote the growth of mold and mildew and all kinds of stuff on the exterior of your RV. So. And the difference between that and water resistant with a breathable fabric like this RV cover is, is that the roof is a water resistant layer that goes over the sides, you know, a little bit and covers the whole roof. So a lot of the water goes right off of that thing. I put like the garden hose up there and water just pulled on top of it and it did not go through. But if it does eventually or a little bit of moisture comes up from underneath, um, the entire thing is made of a breathable fabric, the sides especially. They don't really stop water. Um, they'll help it shed off, but a little water can get through. But the entire thing breathes so that it allows all of that water to evaporate out and dry so you don't have mold and mildew. So a lot of people prefer the water resistant breathable covers to an actual waterproof cover um, that might give you problems with mold and mildew. So just a little explanation there because I was curious and that's what I read. And uh, so now I kind of know a little bit more, more about the difference. Um, so without further ado, why don't we jump out there and I'm gonna show you how I put this guy on. It weighs about 32 pounds, comes in a nice big carry uh, bag. It also has uh, patches just in case anything is torn or ripped. Um, and it seems like pretty good fabric to me. I don't have a lot of experience with RV covers, but the fabric seems like it's, it's pretty sturdy. And it comes with uh, windproof straps, uh, two in the front, two in the back, and also six that go underneath your RV that clip everything there, which really keeps it in place so that the wind can't move it all around and cause tears and things like that. Um, I went on Amazon and looked so, at some reviews and there were a couple of people that said they'd had a problem with wind and a, you know, like a tear or a rip. Um, and so this is supposedly the upgraded version, the windproof adjusted version with all those straps underneath. And it seems pretty darn secure to me. Um, so we're gonna check that out as well. It also has zipper doors on both sides, big flaps that you can unzip and roll up. And then they have little straps with Velcro so that you can actually uh, access the RV without taking off the entire cover. So I'm really enjoying it so far, but why don't we go out there and, and let you see how I put it on. And we put this on in about 15 minutes. It was really easy. So let's go check it out. So as we pull this out of the box, you can see it has a nice uh, bag that everything fits in with their logo on it, Bouge RV. And uh, inside you're gonna have the cover, which has a strap to keep it all rolled up. Uh, you also have an instruction manual and a nice uh, thing with big pieces of fabric in case you ever get a, a hole poked in it. Now, when you lay this out, you wanna look for the label right there that's gonna say front with an arrow. And once you have that located, you can kind of lay it out and orient it around the RV. Now, some people, I think you're supposed to really kind of roll this back up, put it on the roof and then unroll it. But we just pulled it straight up. We were just kind of flying by the seat of our pants and it only took 15 minutes to get this completely up there. It was really, really easy. 
and you can see they have these nice zippers. There's actually three on each side, um, so you can actually just undo one zipper and access your door if it's in that area. Or later, I will show you how to actually roll up an entire section and clip that into place. But you can see that I can access the side door if I just have to get in there real quick um, or something like that. And then we're gonna do the straps. Now there are two, these are all the windproof strapping. Uh, you see the nice reflectors there in the front. So you've got two in the front, two in the back. And once you get those on, then you have six underneath the RV that you just kind of throw, throw under. And I'll show you that once we get the other two uh, straps on. So now we've got the fronts on. I'm gonna show you this upper, other zipper pocket right here so you can access the front door if you need to, which I think is really handy if you just have to get something in or out and you don't wanna take the cover off or crawl underneath it. So I think that's really handy. Um, so once I zip that back down, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you the process of uh, putting on the straps underneath. Now they come rolled up and I think that's kind of handy. I just threw it under and it actually rolled all the way across to the other side of the RV. And if you fail, you can just roll it up and try again. Now we don't have to crawl under there. Uh, then you just have your nice snap in that snaps into the strap. And then you just pull that tight and you're gonna do that for the other five straps and you're not gonna have any problems with wind. So now I'm gonna show you how to actually uh, you know, roll up one of these sides. And of course you could do the entire side with both or all together if you prefer. Uh, but I'm just gonna do one section right here. And I think it'd probably be easier with a step ladder and maybe even a second person. I didn't really know the procedure for doing this and I'm sure it could have gotten a little tighter and higher. Uh, but it has Velcro up there. So I just kind of hopped up and attached the Velcro with that strap. And then you can access that section of the RV as long as you like, or leave it up, whatever you prefer. And of course you can do that with the front section as well. So that's really handy and it has the exact same setup on the other side of the RV. So very versatile, very handy. And I think the cover itself looks really good. I, I probably could have aligned mine a little bit better, but we just snapped it together, pulled it tight, and, and there it is. So now we're gonna do a kind of a waterproof test. So I took out my hose and just sprayed it down, um, poured a ton of water on the roof uh, to make sure that it puddled up up there and simulate a lot of rain and uh, sprayed the side really good. Uh, now the side is more breathable and then the roof has the more waterproof uh, fabric on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one, do the zipper and underneath uh, the side fabric, you can see that there was some water penetration because it's very breathable fabric, but it will allow water to shed. Most of the water shed it off, but where it was really hitting with force, it penetrated and got the side of the RV wet. And um, you can see there's, there's some moisture in there, but that's from high pressure water hitting it. And that's to be expected because that's not the really resistant side. Now on the top is a totally different kind of fabric, much thicker, darker color. And you can see water was pulled up on top of it for about five minutes. And as we look, the roof is completely dry. It's not moist, it's, there's not a single water droplet. All that water is pulled on top and none of it penetrated the fabric. So I think this will be great for snow protection, rain, protect, rain protection and stuff like that. Hey everybody, so this is actually an update that I did um, right as I was uploading the finished video to YouTube. It rained for two hours really hard, so I was gonna show you underneath the cover. 99% uh, of the water came off the cover and did not get the RV wet at all. It just rolled off as opposed to when I was spraying it directly with a high pressure hose. Now, when we look at the roof, you can see there's been standing puddles of water up here for two hours with this heavy rain. And so we're gonna take a look to see uh, how much or if any water has penetrated the top layer um, through the water resistant fabric. Ooh, I did not see that spider before. That's crazy, it was probably crawling on my shirt. Anyway, you can see the entire roof is pretty much dry except for this little tiny puddle of water right here. And I'll try and show you. Um, it's not very deep, it's just a little wet spot. Let's see if I can show you here. So that did eventually penetrate through the fabric, but then when the sun comes out, that's gonna evaporate quite quick. So definitely water resistant, not waterproof, but that's not bad. Two hours with standing water on top and that's all that got through. Just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, so this thing fits really easily. We put it on in 15 minutes. I like the zipper door so you can access the RV. The fabric seems sturdy to me. Um, I went on Amazon and looked at a bunch of reviews. Uh, a lot of people were happy with it. Some people had a problem with the wind tearing uh, the fabric, but I believe this is the new version where they added all the straps underneath. Uh, this is like their windproof version. So it seems secure to me. I don't think it's going anywhere. Just make sure you cover up any sharp objects on the roof of your RV. And I think you should be fine. Um, 
So I definitely like this RV. I think it's really cool. It was easy to put on. I like the carry bag. Um, I'm really excited that my RV has this extra layer of protection for sure. Um, keep in mind that if anything does go wrong with this over time, I can't always do a review like two years later. Um, but look, check the description of this video. And if I ever have problems with anything, I put updates in the descriptions all the time. But so far, I really like this cover. I think it looks good. It was easy to put on. The fabric seems fine to me. And um, it's going to give me so much more peace of mind just knowing that the RV is not going to rot out there while I'm not living in it and working on my cabin. So I'm enjoying it so far. Amazon link in the description down below if you're interested. And um, I think that about wraps it up. Really, really enjoying it. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.